what's up guys we're going over lvm today lvm is a software version of a storage area network which pretty much means you can take a pile of drives or just one individual drive and make a pool of storage and you can isolate that off and partition it off into smaller bits and pieces where this is most helpful at is whenever you have like a raid device and you don't want to have to mount the whole entire raid device on your linux box that's whenever i use it the most often so if you want to separate say for instance you have a couple terabyte raid 5 drive you can partition that off into smaller pieces without actually using the whole drive and that's actually a safer option too the reason is is because obviously there is no security for LVMs. Whenever you're actually making a pool of storage here, these are just three individual drives and that is three times the chance of uh, having one drive that one of these is going to fail. And if one of these fails, you have a chance of losing all of your data whenever you have a logical volume. Now the first thing that we're going to start out with is physical volumes. Now physical volumes is pretty much selecting the devices that you're going to be using inside of your LVM partitions. And like I said before, this is good for RAID devices, partitions, or just drives themselves. You can make an LVM out of any of these. Just a pool of storage, it doesn't matter where it came from, it's just a software version. I like to think of it like you're creating a drive with different storage devices. Now volume groups, this is where you're actually going to create your pool of storage. Now that we've selected the devices from our physical volumes, we're just making a clear defined line of what do we want to use as our storage devices and actually creating a pool of storage called a volume group. Now for logical volumes, this is actually whenever we take our volume group and we can either separate off a little chunk of it and make that a mountable logical volume or we can take the whole entire volume group and actually make it into a logical volume. But you can portion this off from the volume group. So you can have 10 gig uh, lo uh, logical volume, another 10 gig uh, logical volume over here, or a 20, you can do whatever you want. And these are all mountable partitions is the way I like to think of it, which is the logical volume. Now we're gonna go over the commands for LVM. There's one thing that you really need to know. They keep it very consistent with the LVM commands. There's going to be three abbreviations that you gotta be familiar with, the PV, the VG, and the LV. So PV is gonna be for physical volumes, VG is going to be for volume groups, and logical volumes is going to be for LV. And you're just going to put these abbreviations inside of the actual command. So if you want to create something, if you want to create a uh, volume group, then you're going to do LV create. Excuse me, you're going to do VG create or VG display. Okay, so or PV display or PV create. So it, they, they keep it very consistent. It's going to be using these abbreviations and you're just going to add it in front of either create or display or these are the main commands that you're going to be using. Now for flags, there's two of them that you really need to know. The dash L flag is for the size of the logical volume and whenever you're actually selecting it, so you do dash L, 10 G, and then you actually have your size selected. Now for the dash N, this is the actual description from the man page. Now let's hop into the terminal. To start out with, I actually have three drives here that we're going to be using SDA, SDB, and SDC. They're all 14.6 gigs. First thing we're going to have to do is actually create a physical volume. So I'm just going to do, okay, sudo pv create. And now we're just going to list out the drives. So Okay, now if you actually have this fail, what you're probably going to end up seeing is this right here. Um, cannot use the SDA device uh, is partitioned. So if this actually happens, what you're going to want to do is you're going to just use the wipefs command. So you're going to put sudo wipe fs dash dash all dash dash force and then um, the device for this case it'll be dev sda so now that we've actually created that what we can do is do a pseudo pv display okay and now actually show us our three devices that we selected here sda sdb and sdc and they and everything looks good here and another thing that you can actually do is a pseudo pvs to actually show the drives that you have selected now we're going to have to create a volume group now how you actually do that is pseudo vg create so volume group create this these are all pretty easy to remember because it's pretty much pv vg lv create or display and they are all pretty similar commands 
So now we're going to have to put our volume group name. So let's just do pull. And now we're going to have to put our devices. To start with the pull, it, like you can put anything here. This is just the name of your volume group that you are creating. Okay, so it could be called whatever you like it. I'm just calling it pull because it's a pool of storage. So now we're going to list our devices. Now I can hit enter. And it has been created successfully. So once again, we're just going to go VD uh, display and I'm going to have to be pseudo for this. Okay. And now you can see we have our pool of storage and it's 43.93 gigs. And the volume group name is called pool. And our volume group UUID, you can see it right down here, which isn't going to help us right now because we need to create a logical volume. Another thing you can also do is a pseudo VGS just like that and it'll show us our volume group. Now to create a logical volume, we're just gonna do same thing, LV to create. And now we're just gonna do a capital L and select the size that we want this to be and that's what the dash L flag is for. So I'm just gonna do 40 gigs, okay? So let's just do 40 G dash N. This is gonna be for the name and we're just gonna put the logical volume name which we're going to call logic and then the volume group name, which is gonna be pool. Now we can enter, and this is just asking if we wanted to wipe it. And now we can display it by going sudo LV display. And now we can see we have a logical volume called logic. The size of that logical volume is 40 gigs and our UUID for that logical volume. And obviously if you want to display this out, it'll be like the other ones, we're just going to do sudo LVS. And you can see that we have a 40 gig pool right here. Common question that I get a lot is how to extend it or how to reduce it, anything like that. So we can just do sudo VGS to actually see what our volume group size is. So this is 43.93 gigs. So if we actually want to extend our logical volume, which is 40 gigs, what we can do is sudo LV extend dash L. So this is going to be the size in the file path for our logical volume. Hit enter. Now whenever I do sudo LVS, you can see we have 43 gigs out of the volume group. Now if you want to reduce, you're just going to do sudo LV reduce 10G and the path. Oh, I forgot the dash L. Now if I do a sudo LVS, you can see we have 33 gigs now. Now if you want to put a file system on this, you're just going to do a sudo mkfs.ext4 or whatever file system that you want to put on it and then the path of where this drive is, which is going to be dev, pool, and logic. Now it's creating the blocks. Now if I go LSBLK, you can see that we have our uh, pool in logic, so it's going to be the 33 gigs that we have selected for our LVM, and it just uses, it works a lot like RAID, where you have three different devices or whatever, uh, however many devices, and you can, they're all partitioned together to actually add up to a larger number. Now if you actually want to mount this, what you're going to want to do is, so let's just do sudo blkid. You can see that we actually have a UUID number right here. And we can put that inside of the F stab to actually mount it. So I'll show you that real quick. So let's do a MKDIR and let's just call it LVM LS. You can see that we actually have an LVM directory here. So sudo nano etc F stab. Now we're going to just come down here. And we'll put a little note, so um, LVM uh, 33G, and it's called lo uh, Logic. Okay, so now we're going to put our UUID number in here, and where we want this to be mounted to. So that's going to be Home for Dnx and LVM. I think that would, may have been a capital. And what file system? So that's going to be ext4 for me. Defaults. Space zero. Control X, yes, and enter. 
sudo okay let's see if that's what we have here now it's yeah, lowercase so sudo nano etcs that Okay, now if we do ls plk, you can see that we actually have the logical volume mounted inside of home, Baradinix, and LVM. So you can start putting your stuff inside of that directory, and you're all set to go. Now, if you want to remove the volumes, you're just going to do a lv remove dash f, and then what your file system is, so dev pull logic. And you're also going to do a VG remove and the uh, logical volume name, which is going to be pull for us, and a PV remove, and then the drives that you want to uh, remove. So, and that's pretty much it. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I helped you with logical volumes. It seems complicated, and honestly, I've, I've thought about that for a long time and uh, kind of kept me from doing it, but. Uh, after studying this a little bit, it definitely helps. So hope it helped you too. So peace, guys. Till next time.